Hello Taurus and welcome to your May, um, sorry, 15th through the 21st weekly reading. This is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, thank you for your likes and subscribes, all your energy, all your comments. I appreciate everyone. So thank you again so very much. All right, we are doing a new format. I am pulling three cards for your health, three cards for your finance and your career, and then three cards for love. And these are quick and general, and again, general, general, general. So they resonate. I would love to hear from you. All right, guys. So for Taurus's health, what do we have for Taurus's health today? Taurus's, or this week, Taurus's health. Six of Swords. Okay, Taurus's health. Whoa. Sun's turn, definitely. Taurus's health. All right, those kind of came out matter of factly. There we go. Let me get that straight. All right, we have the Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I like the progression six, seven, and then the Two of Swords. Um, you're definitely moving ahead in. I feel like you're take you're taking control of your health. You're taking control of your what you can control is what I feel. Uh, you're putting thought into it. You're putting motion into it. So you're moving forward on something. Um, it could be something like you uh, maybe started in the year thinking, okay, this is what I maybe I want to run a marathon, or maybe I want to lose 20 pounds, or maybe I want to whatever. You're planting the seeds. You're you're putting in the thoughts. Um, but you really hadn't started yet. I think you just kind of started the ball rolling is what I'm feeling. You're um, you're finally getting serious about it, maybe. That's kind of the word I'm looking for. You might have had these ideas. You might have wrote them down. You might have had all good intentions. You just didn't really start the process. And I just feel like you've started the process, that you're, you're starting the ball rolling. You're moving forward. You know that you can't stay in the position you were in. It's almost like you were stuck or you were... Um, um, not in control in a sense of, uh, you know, like some people can't control overeating or some people can't control drinking or whatever, you know, maybe seeking help, maybe seeking guidance, seeking somebody that has been there, done that, that kind of knows how to do this. It's like if I was planting a garden, I don't know that much about it. So I might contact somebody that knows about it. So that's kind of what I feel like you might be um, with a nutritionalist or some exercise person or somebody that knows something to get you started, to get you on the right path, maybe to keep you on that path. Um, you have decisions here. You have, uh, you know, I just feel like you can stay in the way you were or you can move forward. And I think, again, you're moving forward. Um, you're making that choice. You're making that decisions. I think for a long time, you didn't want to face reality. You didn't want to kind of see what was reality. Um, you know, everyone put on COVID weight. Everyone kind of, especially if you were where you couldn't get out, you know, I was blessed to be able to walk. Uh, so, you know, it's it's like, um, it's easier to put your head in the sand than it is to face reality. But I do feel like you are stepping up. You're stepping up. You're taking control. You're doing what has to be done in order to move yourself forward and move yourself out of a slump or out of a stuck place or out of a, um, tumultuous time, a tumultuous time. You are, again, planting seeds for the future, and you're taking better care of yourself. All right. So for career and finance for Taurus, please. Career and finance for Taurus. Beautiful. Three of Pentacles. Career and finance for Taurus. Knight of Pentacles. Money, money, money. Career and finance for Taurus. Oops. Beautiful. All right. Taurus. We have three of pentacles, knight of pentacles, and the star card. Um, this talks about working hard. It talks about working well with others. It could be talking about a promotion, people lifting you up, you know. Um, you could be going up in a company, up in uh, in wh wherever you're working, being exalted, being shown, being, you know. It's almost like your peers are holding you up. Your peers are showing um, higher uppers or... Uh, people in control what you can do or that whatever project you're working on that you are the main 
core of it that you are the mainstay of it these people again she almost looks like a princess or a queen they're exalting you they're holding you up um feeling like we couldn't have done this without this person this person was an integ integrative part of the process and with that could come a raise with that could come a bonus with that could come extra money the thing about knight of pentacles is it's on its way it's not here yet money is coming again it could be a raise it could be a promotion it could be some type of um, a thank you you know some type of bonus or um, a raise in general but it's it takes time it's almost like it has to go through uh, all the proper channels to get to where it needs to go but it it is in motion and you are being seen and you are being held up and, and held um, in respect I feel and I feel with the star card it's like your dreams your what what you've wanted what you're dreaming and wanting to happen are coming true um, not only are you shining you're not blending into the background so much like she is she's she's kind of part of the universe and you're realizing that you know being part of a team or being part of something can really benefit you and can help um help not highlight but but um put a spotlight on what you can do um it's almost like, I don't know if like you're a team leader and they're your subjects. I don't know if you're ahead of something and they, you know, again, it's working together, but you were in charge working together, but it was your baby, so to speak, your ideas. And again, being seen and having dreams come true, having wishes come true, having things you want come true. And again, putting forth the effort, but, but putting in the uh, right conditions things are in the right conditions it's almost like i feel like the right time at the right place you know kind of that energy but it's something that you've really wanted to bring in and wanted to do for a long time and i love how the pentacles are going right toward the, the star card so it's like you know maybe you you wanted to be seen you wanted your ideas heard or you wanted something implemented and with that will come a bonus, with that will come extra money, and with that is going to afford you to do things that you've always dreamt of doing, possibly maybe traveling or maybe buying something that you've always wanted to buy. Uh, it's going to afford you that luxury. All right, so we have our, this flipped over, love, Taurus love, Taurus love, oh, that's it. All right, interesting. Right under the star, we have the moon. Interesting. So in your love life right now, I just see you trying to, I feel like you're holding your own. That's really interesting that we have the three and then the four. The four is about balance. The four is about stability, um, growth, structure. And it's like you're holding on to your money. Um, I feel like whatever comes with the star card or whatever affords you this, it's like this is your money this is yours this is this is yours also but this you're not going to do anything with this until this comes in this is earmarked maybe a trip maybe something you've always wanted to do is earmarked for this this money has nothing to do with it um looking for structure and stability um protecting your assets is what i'm hearing protecting your assets making sure that somebody is not trying to get you for your money because I just feel you're walking away from, um, and I don't mean to sound this mean, but it's like you're moving out of a lower class. You're moving out of a lower vibrational, moving up into a higher vibrational, into a higher class, a higher peer level, a higher group level. Um, this is not serving you. This is dragging you down, whatever it is you were coming from. And I think whatever it is, you could have lost some money. People could have been using you for money. I find this interesting that she's got the crown on and so does she. So it's like um, helping you get back what you lost, helping you gain back what was taken from you or what was, um, I just feel like you lost a little bit, but it could have been so much worse had you not seen and had you not got out of because we have the moon card moon it can be deceit moon can be something um being seen not for what it was it can be something being hidden somebody not being their true self even in you know this love and again you getting out in the nick of time you getting out 
when you're supposed to. Now look at this moon, it looks full, but then you look at the top and it looks like it's starting to, to wane. So we have a new moon on um, May 30th in Gemini. And that's a new moon. We have a full moon on the 16th. So this is right before, uh, this is right during uh, 15th through the 21st. So that could have some significance for you. Might be a good time if you are getting out of or moving out of a situation. It might be a good time to do it uh, this week. Um, things coming into light. Seeing something or someone for who they really are or what they really are. Getting out from under their spell. Getting out from under their um, control, you know. We always hear that people put a spell on you, and yeah, some people can because love is blind, and we fall into that. This is the bottom of the deck energy. It is your subconscious energy. It is Ace of Cups. You're looking for love. You're looking for your cup to runneth over. You want all the things. You want the health, the wealth, the love, the, you know, prestige, the kindness. You want all the things. You And I think you are blessed, and I think you see it. I just don't know if you want to, um, it's like you don't want to brag. You don't want others to be jealous or you don't want others. It's, it's kind of like this energy. It's like, um, that could be why you're waiting. It's like, I know people, you know, people might know I'm coming into a bonus or coming into a raise and they know I'm going to blow the money. So if I take the trip now, they're going to know that's where the money's coming from. It's like, you're very modest. You're very much, you know, uh, to yourself. You don't like to, um, to air your business, so to speak. All right. But you are looking for the happily ever after. You're looking for, you know, your cup to runneth over all your blessings, which you are blessed. But again, you like to keep it to yourself. You don't like to, to uh, broadcast it. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, Taurus. Taurus oracle, whoa, 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 way too many. These are so slippery. This one flipped over, so we'll take it. Exposed, interesting. What did I say about keeping to yourself, right? Keeping to yourself so you're not seen, so you're not a predator, or you're not, you're not predated, predated. Um, you're not prey to something, um, Keeping yourself hidden, keeping yourself out of the spotlight, even though with whatever happened here, you, you've been lifted up and shown and, and you've got to shine a little bit, but you're not one to, um, to want to take all the credit. And again, that could be where the three of pentacles comes in over here. Like I did this. Yes, it's my idea, but I had help. It's not just me making sure everything's fair, making sure others get their, their just rewards also. All right. And I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like it's a medical field. I don't know why. I don't know if you work in a medical field, but that's kind of the hit I'm getting. I don't know. All of you don't work in the medical field, but it says alone and unprotected. The fledgling is vulnerable to attack. Exposed may indicate being thrust into a spotlight. <laughs> What did I just say? And not in a good way. As a result, you may feel helpless and fear possible criticism. Exposed may also point to a f open and free opportunity for the taking as there will not be much in the way of opposition. And again, I, um, whatever it is in the work, whatever it is you, you're being held up and exalted for, um, Everybody agrees. Everybody agrees. And you are making sure that they are getting recognized too. It's not, you know, it's not just you. You're not taking all the credit. You're making sure it goes where it's needed. All right, Taurus. Good luck to you. Take care. Be safe. Let me know how this resonates. Very interesting. All right. I will see you next week. Bye for now.